we started with 750 beds. Now we have capacity of um, 3,000 beds, and it's been amazing. And this is just over a year. My name is Derek Ekosam, aka Eko Farmer. In 2019, I had a dream of starting a poultry farm, but it didn't actualize till 20 March 2021. But back in 2019, I actually wrote um, a proposal, and um, in 2020 November, I had a help from an institution and um, supported by what I was doing previously, that is um, cleaning. I have a cleaning company. Supported with that institution, we started production on 10th March 2021. We actually started with uh, 750 beds. Down the line, um, production actually dropped. I think a year into production, it dropped. And uh, it dropped for about three months, so we decided to sell off the beds. That made uh, more profit sense than actually keeping the bed and still, you know, uh, feeding them. But before we did that, I actually brought uh, about 2,000 beds. That's what you can actually see behind me. So these are about 1,800 beds at the moment. In 2018, when things were quite difficult with um, job and all of that, I started a recruiting university. What can I actually do with a certificate that I, I mean I have? I started researching into farming. Through my research, I got to know okay, there, there is a lot of potential in poultry uh, farming in Ghana. That was when I started putting a proposal together. And a year down the line, I was able to actually um, get some help to actually do it. So I would say it was first. Uh, it was out of necessity. I felt, no, I can do something with the course I did and with passion. And so far, this is what we have. In poultry production, the routine is quite uh, simplistic. Now, especially with the battery cage production, it's quite easy. Because a lot of things are automated, there's, a, there, there's really less labor. Now, what happens is in the morning, what we do is to come check on the birds. Because they are in cages, we would have to make sure all the birds are in good shape. So when we do that, we start feeding them. In the morning, normally around nine o'clock, we get most of our eggs between nine and 12 o'clock. So between that time too, we pick the eggs. Water is automated, but depending on what is happening to the birds at that particular moment, we either, if it is coccidiosis, we give them something to cure that. If it is um, Newcastle, we give them something to cure that. In the evening, between five and six, we also pick the rest of the eggs. And what we do is to sort them. Now, on our farm, we don't just sort them with our eyes. We actually sort them with a scale. We sort our eggs into um, in those various sizes. And most of the time, our customers are market women. So they come either come to the farm or we deliver it to them. And we actually supply throughout Ghana. Basically, we supply throughout Ghana depending on the needs of the person and our capacity at that particular point in time. In poultry production, as we know, the major challenge in Ghana is first availability of feed. For the past year, it has been quite difficult getting commercial feed. Now, when you get it to, you get it in very I mean, very small quantities. For example, these beds require about four bags of feed a day. So that is about 28 bags of feed in a week. So if we don't get that kind of supply, it becomes difficult. The laying rate decreases and it affects, um, of course, production. That particular challenge also um, comes with, you know, the shortage, shortage of maize, which was, I mean, uh, basically across West Africa, actually, last year and this year. But now it's, it's coming, but the difficulty is, the price um, increases. It's, it's, been, it's been serious over the past, I think, three to six months. Almost every week, we have either four, five to 10 cities um, um, increment in the price of feed. And this, you know, you, the thing about poultry production too is that even though they are increasing the price of feed, you can't immediately increase the, the prices of your, your goods. 
Now the other um, challenge comes with the litter, disposing of uh, the poultry poop. It's quite difficult when it comes to uh, battery cage. So um, farmers, normally crop farmers, come to the farm to pick them up. But you often sometimes even have to beg people to come for, for, for uh, this fecal material for, uh, to be used as fertilizer. When you dump it on your, on your site for a very long time, it can actually affect the birds. I mean, the birds can pick infection from this distance. One other major challenge is sales, marketing. There's no regulation when it comes to the pricing of um, poultry products, especially eggs. There is absolutely no regulation. So, interestingly, the market women are the people who are actually controlling um, the prices of poultry in Ghana. So because there is no regulation in terms of either the price of feed, either the price of any other input, it becomes so, so, so difficult to actually um, sometimes market your eggs. Of course, there are seasons, especially in November or December. There is a lot of demand when it comes to poultry products, especially eggs and chicken. There is a lot of demand when it comes to that. But most part of the year, demand actually uh, gets down. Either you have to push them at a very ridiculously low price so that you get something out of I mean, those sales and all of that. So that's one thing, that's um, one of the challenges that we face. But we are trying, we are trying to use other means to be able to you know, push this, this SM to the consumers. Amidst all these challenges, there, is, there are a lot of opportunities and successes when it comes to poultry production in Ghana. We started with just 750 beds, but now we have about almost 3,000 beds at the moment. We have a daily production of between 43 and 45 crates. We can go up to about 48, 50 crates. Now we actually have new beds. Those are 1,100 beds, white beds, white laying beds. But this farm has a total capacity of about 9,000 beds. So for now, we have a total of about this particular bed, 1,008 and 1,001 there. We have about 2,900 beds. So we have a potential of about 6,000 more beds. When we started, it was deep litter system. We didn't have these cages. So the beds were actually on the floor with the 750 beds. There are lots of advantages that comes with um, battery cages. Um, disease spread is very much minimized. Feed, um, feed is very, very, very much um, controlled. That is. Uh, the birds are able to maximize feed very, very, very well. And also, labor is cut. And also, space is seriously maximized. Actually, this farm, when we are to do deep litter system, it will take about a maximum of 3,000 birds. But with this battery case system, we can go to about 9,000 birds. So, there are a lot of advantages that comes with it. So, the dream is to fill this place up by June next year. This place would have a total capacity of about 9,000 beds, all with battery cage production. This farm is actually leased for five years. However, plants are far advanced to have about an acre or two, and that could contain about 20,000 to 50,000 beds. So that is the dream, and hopefully very soon, maybe over a year, we should be able to uh, be, be actualizing that particular dream. Now we are doing mostly Greater Accra region, central region, um, parts of eastern region, and some parts of western region. I want to go into every nook and cranny of Ghana, and of course, beyond the, the borders of Ghana. So that is the dream.